And are you refreshed? Yes. Good. Now what? Thank you. I am eternally grateful to Esther for being open to have your teachings. Because she pays now, a serious price. She must get into happiness before she can hear us. <laughs> because now I know that I come with an operating manual. You see. It's more like downloaded in the moment guidance. <laughs> before a gathering like this, do you turn your floodlight of attention toward us being here not more than usual it's always on you but your expectation changes the dynamics between us it has been amazing because once i got that little card that you are going to come here just the energy i started feeling this energy and things started it's because flowing. that focus caused you to get closer in the vicinity of the vibration that we are always offering and how do I keep that <laughs> by realizing that in every moment we're sending you another card nice to know isn't it because when something comes into your awareness most people do not understand the part they play in the moment of awareness and that's why we're putting more emphasis specific emphasis most important emphasis upon the concept of receptive mode We've been calling it the art of allowing for years, which means the same thing, mm -hmm. but receptive mode. What can I, in my human form do about putting myself in the place of most probable reception? And the answer of course is whatever it takes to feel good. The things that are funny, the things that are fun, the things that are interesting. In other words, it's just a matter of, of accepting that good feeling is good. It's amazing that since December of 2014, my life has changed 180 degrees because of having known you. Well, and what people often say, it is the most common correspondence that Jerry and Esther have received through all the years, is that I feel like I am now really consciously aware of something that I've always known. In yeah. other words, you've been in the vicinity, but there's something about letting yourself get there and letting yourself rest in the energy of it and then as the words come in confirmation of what your life has already shown you it is meaningful we agree when i finally got it i wrote a poem about this called uh, being awakened to self because i always knew this but i didn't know that i knew it in a way and so We've been calling this the time of awakening, but it might be even better to call it the time of reawakening. And it might be even better to call it the time of real, 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 because in every moment you have the option of closing or opening to it and you're doing some of all of it. And how do you know you're awake if you're never asleep? How do you know that you're in alignment if you're never out of alignment? The variety is important for this poignant feeling that you have. Yeah. And the contrast is just killing you. But then, you know, it's wonderful as well, because uh, <laughs> honestly, I, you know, I, I don't want to work for somebody else. And how am I going to get it? And you said, test the universe. I tested the universe. What universe? What is it that I want to dear universe? It has become evident that I now need a partner. That was January 15th, February 24th. An old client of mine called and said, well, I am with a three and a half billion dollar company. Would you like to be a partner? And we closed the deal Friday. So now you clap. 
for the manifestation. <laughs> we want you to clap when she's just dreaming about it. <laughs> because it's so much fun. That is so much fun. That's all so much fun. That's so much fun. That is so much fun. It's so much fun. And now you're just getting started. Now you're launching all kinds of other rockets. You haven't come to anything close to a culmination. This aerial view of what is happening. While I was driving. Source has it. Are you listening? But you want to say source. So, okay. So I'm going to go over there and then I'm going to go over there and then I'm going to go over there and then what? Then I'm going to go over there and, and source is just saying, just take it one step at a time. You're not going to remember this. <laughs> you're not going to remember this. Jerry and Esther used to play that game. Esther would say to Jerry, read the directions to me. And he'd say, how about if I just give them to you turn by turn? <laughs> no, I'd like to hear them all. All right, but you're not going to remember anything except the very first thing you have to do. It was pretty much true. So she'd get there and then she'd say, now what? And he'd say, I already told you. She'd say, yeah, but I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. Turn by turn guidance is what you want. And that's what you've got. Yeah. I mean, everything was just telling my friend this fantastic German engineered car uh, all of a sudden going 85 miles heats up to 40 miles and I was supposed to meet him in 20 minutes so I focused on the excitement of visiting him and catching up and the car started getting better and I reserved a place outside of the hotel while I wanted to eat inside and he said, no, 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 didn't you say that you reserved a place? I'm tired of this place. Let's go out. Meanwhile, who really wanted to meet this client, texted me saying, we're at the hotel. Where are you? We're outside and we're going to the restaurant. And at the restaurant, it was just the two of us, nobody else. Well, the path of least resistance is always being revealed to you. The question is, are you in the vicinity of receiving of recognizing the revelations are abundant around you the question is are you receiving them and the answer to that lies in how much you allow yourself to feel good really good really good thank you enough thank you really thank good. you very much thank you. how do i control my contrast better so is the premise that you're starting from that contrast is good or bad? Good. It's really intense for me. So is my alignment. So if the contrast is intense, it means you are giving nearly equal airtime to wanted and unwanted or to ah. new and current. And we can tell you specifically, it's your attention to what is that's holding the not wanted end of the contrast in such steady place. <sighs> okay. You've been an objective person for a very long time, weighing the pros and the cons and the pluses and the minuses. You are an evaluator more than you are a feeler, which means you are a thinker more than you are a feeler. Okay. Well, thinking is good because focus is good, but just find the subtle difference between focusing feelings and focusing thoughts just for a little while let the feeling be the thought that you're focused upon do you hear that it's a subtle distinction but it's really a powerful tool i care about how i feel so now ask the question again how can i control contrast so Better. let's be more specific in that question how can i narrow the gap between what i want and where i stand is that what you're saying how can I control contrast? How can I pull this end of it in so it's closer? Because when the contrast is really extreme, oh, your ups and downs are really strong. And when you're not feeling good, you're really not feeling good. And when you're feeling good, you're feeling really good. That's why they give you the label of manic depressive. Yeah. Or bipolar, in other words. Very manic. That's what that all is about. By closing that gap, which means less air time to that, less air time to that, more to this, less air time to unwanted, more time to wanted so that you still have contrast. You see contrast between really wanting something and sort of kind of believing it is way better than contrast between wanting something and doubting it. And so you close that gap by, or you control contrast by closing that gap and you close that gap by focusing more upon what you want and by practicing thoughts that feel good and by not trying so hard and by giving yourself the benefit of the doubt more and by taking more naps when you don't feel good and by not pushing through 
by not pushing through Esther was visiting with some people that she cares very much about recently and they were talking about what they say to their children and one was saying well I just tell my kids when they feel like they just have no more to give to just dig deeper I just say push through and their mother said I say oh never mind or just let it go or take a nap or 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 not so much struggle will diminish the contrast you see do you accept that there's a vortex that's powerful in calling you yes and do you understand that if you're just looking there there would be no contrast oh <laughs> so where are you looking instead of there here where I am well here is hindering there what is slows what's coming down because you can't allow what's coming if you are focusing on what is you get that so all those people have been saying give me your attention and we would say oh you don't feel that good I don't think I'm going to give my attention to you or if they feel good then give them your attention because there are things in the now that are a vibrational match to where you're going you can feel it when you find them good feeling things in your now are a match to the good feeling things where you're going so it's just the key again is caring about how you feel and focusing and I do and I do my 17 seconds and I do my 68 seconds and I have a group on Facebook and we share good stuff all day I feel like I'm doing it all day <laughs> <laughs> And I'm mostly feeling good though. I'm mostly feeling good. Sharing good stuff is such a pain. No, I'm feeling really good. But then when it. So what you're saying is I feel like I'm doing it. I'm just not getting the results or the more I tune to good stuff, the worse the bad stuff feels. Is that what you said? Is that what she I'm said? I'm wondering about that. Is that like, what she said? Is that, that was what the question. She said? Like as it gets so much better, are the downs worse? Only if you go there. In other words, yes, your desires. This is the most significant law in the universe. Every subject is two subjects, wanted and absence of wanted. And to the degree that you want it, the absence of it is proportionate. Okay. So if you really, really want something, and you're focusing upon its absence it feels really really bad if you sort of want it and you focus on its absence it feels sort of bad so what you're really saying is I'm really parlaying my desires into stronger and stronger momentum and when I don't go there it feels bad it's the same subject of when I go a hundred miles an hour and I slam into a tree it's a bigger problem than when I go five miles an hour and I slam into a tree and so that's why you want more control because you're going faster Okay. that's what this whole conversation is about Abraham I'm moving so fast I've launched so many rockets I spend so much time going there that I just can't look in opposition to who I am without feeling bad yeah so Abraham could you please stop the universe as it exists and change all the rules for me so that I can just sloppily focus willy-nilly because I'm really causing myself a lot of grief with my desire no we can't oh okay you got that didn't you I got that grief with my desire <laughs> no we can't oh okay you got that didn't you i got that